Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about bloating, indigestion, constipation, and acid reflux. If you have one or more of these, this video is for you. Now, I just want to make it really, really simple because what's being taught out there is completely the opposite of what you need to know to correct these symptoms. Now, there's only really kind of four things you need to know, okay? Got the stomach, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, okay? So the stomach's right here, gallbladder, liver's here, gallbladder, and pancreas, okay? So the stomach breaks down food. The purpose of the stomach is to break down mainly proteins and absorb minerals, okay? Calcium, iron, potassium, those are the two big functions, not to mention kill off microbes and bacteria and things like that. So it needs to be very, 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 very acid, okay? Between one and three, if you know about pH, that's like, that's like really, really low, okay? Now, if that pH is not acid enough, you will not be able to have that acid trigger the liver to release the gallbladder fluid, which is bile. So let me explain what bile is. Bile is a fluid to help you break down fats. And it actually extracts fat-soluble vitamins. It helps you absorb uh, fatty acids, healthy fats, which basically make up all your cells. So this is a very, very important organ. So we have the bile, it's made by the liver, but it's stored by the gallbladder, okay? If you don't have a gallbladder, well then you have a tube, but you still have bile that comes out and you're usually gonna be deficient. So a lot of times, <clears throat> If the stomach is not strong enough, it won't release the bile. So now you have a bile deficiency, then you're gonna get bloating. So we have a primary stomach problem, secondary gallbladder problem, okay? One of the main symptoms for gallbladder is burping, belching, and right sh shoulder pain. Uh, and then we get the pancreas. The pancreas does a lot of stuff, but the main thing it does with digestion is it makes most of the enzymes in the body. Enzymes break down food. Different, like carb you have enzymes for carbohydrates, starches, proteins, fats, okay? So these little guys work together, they break down the, uh, the food, and, and then they end up in the small intestine where microbes go in there and break down even more, okay? So really, if this stomach is not acidic enough, you can't release the bile, and you can't release the pancreas as well. As, and so you get this situation when you get undigested food, okay, that rots, and it sits right here. And not to mention all the other issues with, uh, you know, pain, stomach pain, bloating, constipation. And then if this pH isn't strong enough, this valve right here won't close. And they call that GERD, okay? They call it acid reflux because the acid is going to come up here. So acid reflux is really is a situation where you have not enough acid, okay? So what do people take? Anti-acids. Oh my gosh, what a mistake. Because now... Not only did you not fix anything, you made it worse. Okay, so let me show you what I do. Now, I usually do a combination. I probably use these two remedies right here, uh, and I'll explain them in a bit. Probably 99% together. I use them together because I'll tell you why. A lot of the symptoms from the stomach could mimic the symptoms from the pancreas that can mimic the symptoms from the gallbladder. So a lot of times it can cross over, and it's hard to know what is causing what. So the first thing I do is I really acidify the stomach and I use something called a concentrated acidifier called apple cider vinegar plus, which has a lot of apple cider vinegar in a concentrated powder pill with betaine hydrochloride, which is an acidifier. So you take like two or three with the meal right before you eat and that starts to acidify the stomach. Okay, that corrects the stomach. And that alone will really help the bile to be released and the pancreas to be released. So this is a very powerful, common, commonly used product that I use in a lot of people because so many people have a problem with this, especially as they age, they lose the stomach acid, and the list goes on and on and on of all the reasons why they have low stomach acids. Now, this other thing I use, which is gallbladder formula, has some actual purified bile salts in it, which will helps, it helps give what your body's missing. A lot of times if you don't have enough bile, this gives you what you're missing, and it really helps you fortify the liver and the gallbladder to digest and for bloating. But if the stomach is not acid, sometimes on a rare case, you take gallbladder and you might alkalize, because uh, the gallbladder is alkaline, alkalize this problem and make you a little bit worse. But that's rare, but it can happen. So if someone takes the gallbladder without the acidifiers, 
sometimes they'll feel more bloating. So I just say add the acidifier, boom, everything works out nice. Okay, so with that bile in there now, you can lubricate the whole colon. That's what helps the constipation. Okay, also helps absorption of vitamin A for the eyes, the skin, the sinuses. That's vitamin A deficiencies. Okay, um, also the, in the gallbladder formula, I actually have pancreatic enzymes. So now the gallbladder actually helps both of these areas at the same time. So it actually gets the pancreas to work better and it gets the gallbladder to work better and then we add the acidifier to really make it work better. So this will handle a lot of problems, a combination of these two right here. So you would take the gallbladder stuff after you eat, take one, that's all you need, after you eat, and take the acidifier, the apple cider vinegar plus, right before you eat. I usually like to take a little bit, like two or three of the uh, apple cider vinegar tablets, and then I like to take one gallbladder after I eat to get a full digestion. You'll, you'll find that you'll be very, very satisfied because you start pulling in more fats into the cell. So when you actually get complete digestion, the food can not, no longer sit right here anymore. So you don't have that food that's like indigested, kind of undigested, sitting right there. Uh, you don't get any more bloating. You get a complete digestion. So you get, see constipation is incomplete digestion. And it's usually stuck right here. And so the food can actually go through effectively and you get more energy, you feel better. So these are the two that I use for bloating, indigestion, constipation, acid reflux. And um, they work really powerfully together. So. Give it a shot and, and write your comments below.